How's it going guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So today what we're going to be doing is installing this fuel pump into my uh, 2014 Subaru WRX. Um, I've been having a little bit of an issue with like the car when it's kind of about a quarter tank of gas or so. Um, it kind of just cuts out. Like I'll be driving, boom, just kind of cuts out. Does this little thing where basically it just drops power to the, uh, to the engine. You see the attack kind of fall and then go back. So I think it's a fuel pressure related issue. So I'm gonna go by step by step on how to install this fuel pump. This is the, uh, the DW um, 65C fuel pump. So there it is, if you guys wanna know what it looks like before I put it into the car. So um, I did a little unboxing video of this. Uh, this was given to me by Derek, one of my subscribers. So thanks a lot again for uh, doing that. Um, but we're gonna put this into the car and uh, let's get started. All right guys, so these are some of the tools that you're gonna need when you do this installation on your car. You're gonna need an eight millimeter socket wrench. I used one with an extension, which definitely helped me out quite a bit. 10 millimeter wrench, a skinny screwdriver, another screwdriver just to help you pry Phillips. Also, we're gonna be working with fuel. So as you all know, fuel is very flammable. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have eye protection on. You're probably gonna to wanna to wear some, like, uh, some gloves that are uh, gasoline resistant and also just have your car vented. So you're gonna to wanna to open up your door, open up your hatch, whatever you have. Um, also, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is disconnect the battery. So we're gonna do the battery disconnect right now because we don't want any kind of arcing or sparking in the car at all because we don't want this thing going up in flames. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab a 10 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and put that on your positive terminal on your battery. Loosen that up and then disconnect the battery from the car. Then you can go ahead and remove the seats and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing to do is to remove the middle clip in the seat. So just go ahead and take two hands, grab in the middle, lift up, and that will disconnect the little latch. Okay, to get the side clips on the seat off, um, what you do is you go ahead and put your hand in here. You see this little white area right here? Um, there is a black tab on the front of it. Go ahead and put your fingers in there push down on the seat a little bit and pull all the way forward um, and that releases the tab. So with the seat kind of up, this is what the tab looks like. So you just put your fingers in there and you can see that it releases the seat. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove the seat tab on this side as well. Let's put, push down on the seat real quick, grab the black tab again, pull up and boom. Now you can completely remove the seat after you've uh, released all those tabs, just take it out. What you want to find is the uh, the passenger side right here. So now let's go ahead and remove these four screws so we can get to the uh, the fuel pump and go ahead and remove it. Now on here as well, Subaru gives us a little thing. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove these cover screws. So now I would recommend just using a regular screwdriver, um, probably not any sort of power tools, just because once we start working with the fuel, if it gets somewhere, the, uh, the brushes in the motor of the power tool can actually ignite and light your car on fire. So you don't want that. Now, speaking about fire, um, also not a bad idea to uh, have a fire extinguisher just chilling, laying around. So I have that right outside the car as well, just in case something sparks, static electricity, something like that. But like I said before, we have the battery off the car, so uh, there shouldn't be any voltage present in the system and we really shouldn't have any of those issues. All right guys, so now what we'll go ahead and do is we're just gonna remove the cover right here. Not gonna have to remove this at all or any of this wiring right here because this is just gonna be able to lay to the side. Um, but what we are gonna do is uh, grab this little area. There is a little clip in here that we should just be able to press on and remove the power or the wiring. So we wanna go ahead and just take this little foam gasket, place that to the side, cause you don't wanna get any gas on that. Um, just by removing this plug area right here, um, what I'm gonna do is just squeeze it right through there. And then I can go ahead and set this lid a little bit farther back. So it's just chilling like right here, um, just a little bit farther out of the way. And I can get that foam kinda of out of the way a little bit more. Grab a roll of paper towels. These are shop towels that I have right here. Um, I'm gonna be using these. I try to minimize the amount of gasoline that's you know, spilled on the interior of the car. So I'm just gonna make just a nice little, nice little area. That way any drips hopefully uh, get absorbed. 
Now, this stuff may kind of get in the way, but whatever. Just kind of remove some of the dirt and dust from the top of your fuel pump, just because that stuff could, technically, it could kind of fall in the gas tank. So, uh, you know, cleaning it up is not a bad idea. Um, I'll probably clean it up a lot more once I get it outside of the vehicle. So there are eight eight millimeter bolts or uh, nuts for the uh, studs right there. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just use my little quarter inch drive, uh, eight millimeter socket. So we'll go ahead and start removing all of these nuts on the studs. I kind of have this little area just set up uh, to hopefully capture all my little fuel drips and leaks and all that stuff. Um, gonna put down a little bit more paper towels just because these are cheap and uh, the less interior stuff I get all nasty, the better. We are going to remove the fuel lines from here. Now when we do this, we're gonna get a little bit of fuel all over the place. So um, now you could remove these before I decided to do it a second, that way I just kind of got it a little less dirty. But you just basically grab this little clip area right here, press in, kind of pull out. Um, now this may be under pressure, it might uh, leak out a bit more than you think. Um, that wasn't too bad. So now I'm going to go ahead and just grab some more towels. So again, I'm just kind of placing my paper towel under here, um, squeezing in, pulling out, and squeezing in both sides and pulling out now that one probably had the most gasoline um, to leak out right there so we have to kind of get these fuel lines up and out of the way um, that way we can pull this whole assembly out now once I do that I'm also gonna want to just kind of place like two paper towels over the top that way uh, nothing random gets in there so I'm gonna have those available right here and I'm gonna kind of just pull this top this is kind of the cover piece, like the clamp that clamps it all down. So you can pull that off, get that out of the way. Now the gasket is right below that, and the assembly is pretty much kind of popped out already. Again, I'm gonna get a paper towel, grab this kind of from the top, I guess. Make sure I don't drop anything in here. Just kind of trying to pull straight up, there we go. It was kind of being a pain in the butt. So there's wiring all over it. Now it's getting quite a bit of gasoline um, on top of the fuel tank. You know, hopefully I'm not getting it much of anywhere else. Now there's a little assembly on the side here. I'm gonna, gonna grab it with my hand. Um, it's like the little fuel float. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm pulling it out of the car. Looks like gasoline down in there, so that's cool. Put these paper towels over the top, like I said. You know, that way I'm not getting any crap in there. Kind of get the fuel lines out of the way. Um, also, hopefully this kind of lets some of the fuel that is uh, spilled on the outside, hopefully it kind of soaks that up and lets it evaporate. What you want to do is just go ahead and remove these little clip areas. 